Julie. Julie from Wexford Transport. I believe you've done uh, just uh, competed in the mare class in the ring two. Yes. And done quite well with uh, Best Betty. We have indeed. Yes, congratulations. Thank you very much. You. So would you like to tell us about it? About Betty? Yeah, of course. Uh, Betty, well, I actually call, we, we call her B. Um, she's a four-year-old mare by Garib, out of a mare, Sally's Pride, uh, by Prospect Pride, and her granddams by Hilden Lee. Uh, we brought her as a foal, and uh, she's been very successful for us. As a two-year-old, she was Limerick Lady Champion. As a three-year-old, she won several classes, and she was also best filly in the Bano Rathangan. Uh, just, she was just gone? No, as a three-year-old. Oh, and she was also second here in Dublin and uh, last, sorry, not last weekend, the weekend before she competed in Tattersalls where she won the ridden Hunter's Mare class and she also won the Hunter's Mare class in hand. My goodness. Um, she the is, yeah, absolutely, she we've been very lucky with her this year. Yeah. Um, she's in foal to Robin de la Maison and Lambert's new horse that uh, got approved this year. And uh, so far, I can stand here and say that she's unbeaten in all her stinted classes yes. to date this so, year. Fantastic horse. Yeah, she's yeah. been very successful for us. Yes. And uh, so, we're hoping now to compete in the Limerick Matron Championship, which will be held in Limerick on the 25th of August. The end of August, yes. yes. So that's your plan for this year. And then that, as we're obviously setting up a new company, Wexford Horse Transport, so a lot of our time is dedicated to setting up the new company. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. Yes. How do you, <laughs> time? you do mm. such a lovely horse <laughs> Thank and you. run a business? Um, working full time as well, as well as trying to set up the business. Yep, it's it's tough, very tough going. Obviously, uh, horses aren't selling as well in England with the recession, um, but there is still a demand for the Irish horse, and we are there to provide a service for the Irish dealers and also the English customer in providing a weekly service from Ireland to the UK. And that's where you come in. And it's when it comes in. Well, you <laughs> ask how we managed to do the two when. Julie was in Tattersall's, I was in England in the lorry. So it's, it's a team between the two of us. So you drive the lorry? I drive the lorry and I've got one other driver with me. Uh, so we have two horse, two drivers. And two lorries? Two, no, two drivers, one lorry. Okay. With, with fully licensed and our aim is to keep the horses off the lorry for as long as possible. Yeah. I.e. if you ring up and ask for a horse to be brought from Ireland to England, we will collect the horse the day before, it's stabled in our yard in Wexford, which is 40 minutes from the ferry. So when we load your horse on the on the lorry, within five hours it's in England. So we had we lived in Surrey for 25 years, and we were on the other end of the coin, where we had lorries bringing horses over, and. It's not their fault, it's just the situation they're in. Sometimes the transport people haven't, can't, haven't got the facility to keep the horses off the lorry as long as possible. Yes, so, so that was, was your idea, yes. was to try and minimise that travel time. The, the travel there, time, in, that's in the lorry. Yeah. Right, very good. Just very elsewhere. Good. And do you bring back then from the UK or is we, the transport mostly from Ireland to England? Um, mostly from Ireland to England, but we do, get, we do back runs for people as well. Occasionally, yeah. Brood so mares is, is a big thing, back from England to obviously the studs here in Ireland. Yes. We, when we got the licence for the lorry, we also got a licence to carry May I be so bold as use the word dogs, but that is what you have to use, but for the hounds. Okay. Because the kennels obviously want to keep their stock fresh yes. and so bring in new blood. Yes. So yes. sometimes we're asked to bring hounds back from it's Ireland to England. Yes. Okay. And in, just in the event that there was a problem, we are fully licensed to do that. Yes. Well, we also have another business, which oh. is Wexford Horse, tra- <laughs> Wexford Horse Lorries, yeah. okay. which is how we got into the Wexford Horse Transport because the lorry came in for repair yes. and then, then we end up buying the lorry and the business. But we, we build lorry, horse lorries oh. and also maintain lorries. Okay. okay, so you're the people to go to for anything to do with horse lorries or transport? Basically, as well as basically. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> well listen, thank you very much. Thank you.